Hi, this is Julia if I was Zoom. Uh, today, I'm going to go over three things. The word of the day, the alphabet, and the phrase for today. So, the word for today is knee because I have hurt knee and I went to the chiropractor this morning, got it all worked out a little bit, and so we're going to learn knee. So, knee is Wasuk. That is, got my handed in a notebook. Do you guys remember Blue's Clues? No? Uh, let's see, ni in Chukis is P W, it's windy out here, sorry, A S U K. Bwa, like at, because it has the accent over the A. Suk, bwa suk, for ni. Alright, so the alphabet. I was doing some reading last night. I have a uh, Chuki's English Dictionary that has a nice little tidbit of history of the language in the beginning and went through and learned that the alphabet's a little bit different in Chuki's. So it starts off with those nine vowels. If you haven't learned the vowels with me, uh, that's a prior video. So it starts off with nine vowels. It's 24 letters in total instead of our 26. So we start out with the vowels A, A, E, A. I, O, A, U, U, and then the consonants for Chukis are F, S, K, L, M, M, W, N, N, G, P, P, W, R, C, H, T, W, Y. That was interesting to me because I've tried using the Chukis English Dictionary that I have in the past and wondered why in the world it was all out of order as far as letters. So that's why all of the uh, vowels come first in, in this uh, Chukis English Dictionary that I have. Vowels come first and then those um, remaining consonants that I just went through. So I thought that was interesting to note. It's a totally different, um, totally different use of the letters and just interesting. So uh, we have our word, Puasuk, uh, uh, for ni. We have our alphabet. Here's the phrase. We're actually getting a twofer, so uh, it's two and one, meaning the phrase is what are you doing? And then per my family, there is a, a shortened version. So what are you doing? Metneka furi. What are you doing? What are you up to? Uh, hey, next time you see my dad, um, make sure you say metneka furi and see if he replies. <laughs> Okay, so spelling, I'll turn the page here. Uh, we've got met, M E T, uh, na, and then we have, uh, that's N A, K, K E, F E R I, that's F E accent, E accent, R I. Mednaka furi. You guys gotta help me on my pronunciation because I'm going for it. Mednaka furi. Uh, and then the the second version that's kind of a uh, slang that you, you could say is kafet. K A F E T. So you could either ask someone, Mednaka furi, what are you doing? Or you could just say, hey, kafet. All right, I hope you enjoyed today's tutorial and um, let me know if you have any comments on uh, my pronunciation or if you have any questions I could help you with. Obviously, if I'm not able to answer, I will work my darndest to get you an answer uh, and have a wonderful rest of your week. Uh, take care. Get it on. Almost lost it there. Get it on. <laughs>